And now we found the cutest one. <laughs> this mini baby. Who's baby? <laughs> Actually, both of them quite young. Well, looks like it's raining on that island, however, on top of us it's blasting sunny. And the next experiment is, can we actually swim in this ocean here, see whatever it is? By the way, I have no swimwear, so I will have to swim in what I'm wearing. As you can see, you can actually swim here. The water temperature is just perfect. And it was raining for about 15, 20 minutes. And it was wonderful to be in the ocean actually when it rains. It's an experience for me first time in my life to see the drops of water actually bouncing back from the ocean. So you are surrounded by pearls like they are shining like pearls round pearls and in front of me there is this um, pyramid shaped this shape here and each water drop would bounce and would create like a mount fuji like a pyramid on the water and then when they are really big the splash that comes from down it's like a volcanic eruption <laughs> so it was such an amazing experience so i totally recommend you to try swimming in the rain especially it's actually warmer to be in the ocean because the temperature is good so yeah and you just get some wet hair which is cool <laughs> and now the sun is back of course last time when i came to rabbit island i didn't swim because it was spring oh yeah because it was spring and i always wanted to come in summer here because i heard that people you know come at the beach and swim and it's like a real island now with the virus story it's not such a boom so see i'm having it to myself <laughs> and you are joining me so it should be on your destination there is a hot spring i'm not sure wait there is there are two spas in the hotel so i'll research if that is a real thermal natural volcanic water or if they are just making it hot which i think maybe they are just making it hot but yeah you can have that hot spring ish experience you can swim and then there are hundreds of rabbits everywhere you walk and i didn't yet manage to walk the entire island so i promise to do this after getting out of here if i ever get out i ate so much at the breakfast that it feels good to be now swimming i've been swimming for one hour um yeah because you will also overeat when you come here it's the total paradise one thing i gotta tell you is that the water current was kind of strong so i was about yeah about this area and I wanted actually to swim all around that cliff there but the water, I mean the sea, the ocean was kind of strong pulling me towards outside so I don't recommend you let your kids swim like over there and stuff like that also beware that this is not, uh, nobody's checking on you so it's your own risk to swim here best is, you know, stay where you can touch the ground and um, then you'll be safe <laughs> And see, I'm already dry, the sun is out, totally ah, wonderful island of Japan. Really thank you Japan for having so many attractions. There is here, uh, close to the small ferry dock, there is a beach here, where there are a lot of rabbits walking around and it's a shrine. But this beach, the water currents are kind of strong. See, there is the sign of swimming, but the currents are strong around here and there are people gonna watch you ships are gonna land uh, so I'm telling you to much better go swim on this side I think it's around here uh, after the tennis court there is a wonderful small beach nobody the water is calm so that's the place you should go swim we are back at the smaller beach where there are no boats and no people so let's try to swim here too 
I still don't have any bathing outfit, so I'm gonna swim in this beautiful silk shirt. We are gonna try something new. This is a smaller beach. As you can see, there are no boats. Really nobody. Oh, fish! <laughs> okay, we are not really alone. Ah. But yeah, this temperature is very soothing. This cool, cold, ah, not cold, just perfect. So I'm testing the, whoa, okay, so up to here, I can securely touch the ground. Looks like it's gonna work. We have beautiful sunshine. So let me depose my tripod and then swim for real. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Swimming! Actually, you could get your stomach muscles trained just by being here and doing this to try to sustain uh, your position here against the uh, incoming waves that are actually happening even if you don't see them like a wave. So just hold your legs up and swim with the hand and you will see how much pain you're gonna get to your six pack. <laughs> so yeah, awesome. <laughs> so by all times, legs are up and then you can do a turn. <laughs> yeah, this is muscle training. temperature is just so perfect, perfect to cool down. <laughs> so see, even though the ground is so low, you could get really muscle trained and really tired. And then you can do the same by holding the legs up like this. <laughs> Actually, this is easier. Then the other one with the legs to the front, like this. Ah, oh, muscle training, look at this. <sighs> Just try this. Oh, even, even though this is salty water, so it kind of helps you to float, but you will get your muscles trained, even more if this would be a lake. So you don't need to swim and cross over. Just doing this in the same place, much better than going to the gym. We are walking uh, on the border. Actually, I should have done this earlier when the tide was lower, because now the tide is getting high and <laughs> there is not much left to walk. But yeah, see, we can get closer and we could probably go around this. Oh, so in the morning, if you want to swim in the morning and do this in the morning, would be cool to see what's behind but even like this it's such a beautiful angle to have this behind and in front of us all the Setouchi islands are so cute see all of them and here this wartime steps wow so it looks like we are getting closer to this Cool cliff here. I managed to climb up here. So look how it's scooped by the ocean, scooped around the cliff. <laughs> and on top of us, the green. Oh, yay! So much fun. I'm already losing the weight that I gained during breakfast. I think so. Oh my god, oh my god, look at this thing. This looks like a school of fish that uh, swim around in a block. How can I break them apart? Let me see. Wow, this is amazing. I'm of course scared to touch them. Let's see. Woohoo! Woohoo! Did you see that? Wow, how amazing. Look, if I touch them in a second, <laughs> they will. Okay, maybe like you can see in this angle. Whoops! Yes, so they, they, they do this in order to protect themselves and swim as a group. <laughs> Super 
super compact group like a sea monster. Another thing I need to tell you, look at the bloody sunny weather. If I would show you the weather report for this place, it would be all day rain. Today, uh, September 11th, just check on Google or any other weather report. And that is because they do not focus the report on the island, they just borrow some report from some place over there that's kind of near but not this so this is not raining and everyone at my hotel you know they left with the first bus they gave up because the weather report was shitty we are at the beach <laughs> Is it because of me? Because I'm Hareona, which they call somebody who attracts sunshine? Maybe it's my fault? 